All right, this is uh, Team Green Reaper, uh, Joshua Davis. I'm Francis. And we are going to demonstrate the GPS portion of our uh, project today. Uh, we're in the parking lot here at UNF. Uh, right now you're looking at a snapshot of the base station setup. Uh, we've got the Trimble unit, which is the uh, yellow and uh, black unit there with the black antenna. And then the GPS antenna is the little dome, uh, little white dome shape. Uh, the base station set up looking at satellites. What we have set up here is a rover with a dome shaped satellite antenna and a microprocessor that is set up here on this roller cart so that we can move it around and we've got a laptop so that we can show you the code and show you our, uh, our difference in angle and uh, distance as we move around a set waypoint. What we've done is we've got a uh, coordinate axis drawn out here on the pavement with due north that you're seeing right now. We've got an X that's marking the spot. That is going to be our waypoint and then we have a coordinate axis marked all the way around. You can see 180 degrees right here directly across from uh, from our due north, our uh, zero point, and then you can see our 90 degree mark right there, and then uh, across on our coordinate axis, you can see our 180 or 100, 270 degree mark marked on the pavement right there. Now we're going to go ahead. We're going to go ahead and start our code and move our uh, roller card over to set our point. We're going to move the GPS antenna, the dome shaped there antenna directly over the spot X and then we're going to set that as our waypoint into the microcontroller and to saving the latitude and the longitude at that point. Now we're going to pull the point back and we're going to demonstrate the heading information to that point based on where the GPS cur current location uh, data is given to the uh, laptop. So right now we are directly uh, across we are due north of the spot so we should see 180 degrees uh, as the heading to our waypoint and as you can see the precision of it we're 179 to 180 which is exactly what we should be seeing we're going to go ahead and run the coordinates and we'll move over to our 90 degree point now so that we will be 90 degrees away away from our waypoint which means that we should show a heading of 270 degrees to our set waypoint from our current location there it is about 270 see it right there it's oscillating between 269 and 270 All right, and just to give you an idea where we're at on our course here, you can see our current standpoint. I started off at the beginning of the video over there on the curb with our due north over here by these barricades. We'll go ahead and move on over towards the curb, which would put us at uh, due south of the waypoint, which means we want to see it going, telling us to go north to the waypoint, which will be uh, the 0 slash 360 mark. And you can see there's our waypoint there's our uh, zero point for due north that's about 360 very close to 360 and you can see how it's lined up along the x mark to our due north so it's like 0 0.6 0 0.7 about zero degrees very close to zero degrees and you can see the angle number you can also see our distance is 1.9 meters right now yep. which is spot on and then we'll go ahead and move to our 270 degree mark and show our last uh, coordinate axis and note that uh, that we have a, uh, a very appropriate change as we move around at uh, all angle points it's about 90 degrees like 90.36 ish and we're approximately 3.1 meters away and as you can see we're right back where we started from and that is uh, the demonstration of our GPS uh, thank you for your time